Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with the Jaspies Six Box Baseball is back. Random Team Mixer. That's a good-looking mixer right here, too. So we've got these boxes right here. Right? And then we've got these two right back there, just over my shoulder, right over here. All right, so it's a random team break. Big thanks to all of these folks for getting into it. And here, all the teams are in as well. Let's roll the dice. Six and a three, nine times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. You saw LeBron that he was out for the season. There's only like five games left. Lakers aren't going anywhere. Anthony down to Chris after nine times. Nine times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. After nine times, we've got the Red Sox down to the Marlins. Did the Mariners win, Tice? I was on the Mar I had financial interest in the Mariners at plus one thirty eight at a dollar thirty eight. And they beat these guys, Anthony. The Red Sox. You have the Red Sox. Austin with the Padres. Colton with the White Sox. Riley Card Collector's back in the action. There's the Yankees for you. Chris Parent with the Rangers. Scott with the Cubs. Brad with the A's. Richard with the Indians. Regimo with the Twins. Will with the Angels. Richard Johansson. Mets. Patrick K. Tigers. Uh, Daniel Patera with the M's. They just won. M's win. M's win. Richard Johansson. Royals. Nationals for Jonathan Best. Brad with the Strohs. Garrett with the Pirates. Nick Barr with the Rays. Dennis with the Rockies, Michael Kuntz with the Diamondbacks, Big Boys 007 Phillies, Michael K, Braves, Ryan Shipley, O's, Kip Kip Hooray, Blue Jays, uh, Brad with the Reds, Park with the Dodgers, my Dodgers, they won tonight, they're winning tonight, Brad with the Cardinals, Cameron Goodman, Last Bot Mojo, Brew Crew, Dave, you got the Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo, and Chris Hale, that's Mr. Mike's Daddy, Marlins. Let's alphabetize by team. Feel free to trade if you'd like. Now, there's no checklist for this hit parade stuff. The hat and the glove that's in here. So, I don't know what is or isn't in there. So, just keep that in mind before you trade. Just a word of caution. I'll give it a couple moments. Any trades? White Sox up for trade. Colton has the White Sox up for trade. If anybody's interested, if not, we'll close up the trade window. We'll we'll get the uh, we'll get the break going. Dodgers are up 18 to 5 on the Diamondbacks in the top of the ninth. Put the Diamondbacks out of their misery. All right, yeah, it looks like no bites, Colton. We got to roll. Let's roll. All right, TWC means trade window close. I forgot to put the year 19 right here. It's already April? I feel like this year has gone by fast, right? All right, so let's print and we'll rip. All right, so here is the final printout, ladies and gentlemen. Good to have baseball back. 
Another long season. Um, let's start with. Let's see. Let's start with. Let's do these two first. Let's do this one first. <laughs> Box are all over the place now. 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball with Kenta Maeda on the uh, on the box. Kenta Maeda had the start today, right? He did. Kenta Maeda went six and two thirds innings. Only giving up, scattering five hits. When you win, <laughs> you scatter hits. Scattering five hits and not giving up too many earned runs. Only a few earned runs. Six strikeouts. But three home runs? That's weird. All solo shots, it looks like. Three earned runs, three home runs. The Pirates Reds game was postponed. The A's beat the Angels four to two. The Angels scored two in the top of the eighth, but the A's were managed to hang on. Uh, Giants scored three in the top of the sixth, sixth inning. Padres countered by scoring two in the bottom of the sixth, and that was it. Giants win three two. Um. Rex was keeping us updated on some of the curiosities in the in the uh, Cubs game. Looks like you Darvish returning to uh, Texas, pitching there. You Darvish only managed like two and two thirds innings, and then I guess they didn't want to burn out the bullpen, so they brought in uh, Quintana to pitch for like four innings or so. But he ended up giving a couple earned runs, and then a few more earned runs later, Rangers win eight to six. They scored two in the bottom of the seventh. Three in the bottom of the eighth. All those those five runs unanswered. Rangers win. Lacerik with the save. Brew Crew beat the Cardinals four to two. Yelich with another home run. He has three on the season already. Travis Shaw and Moose, Moustakis with a home run as well. Woodruff with the win. Dakota Hudson with the loss. And uh, Josh Hader with the second save of the season already. Good luck. There's Justin Upton who got with the Angels now. Some weird foot issue has him out for a little while. Max Scherzer. And Kelby Tomlinson is your first autograph. That is for that's for David and the Giants. There you go, Riley Card Collector on the board. Nice. It's Corey Seager. There's his rookie card. Back in action. Good to have Corey Seager healthy for the Dodgers. Let me get, get this focused here or no? There we go. There's Curtis Granderson. 39 out of 50. It's Mets edition. That'll be for Richard Johansson. And a Kettle Marte Youth Impact autograph to 150. Nice. And that's Mariners edition. That goes to Daniel Patera. Got randomized the Mariners in this one.
He's with the Diamondbacks now. This still goes to the M's, of course. He's a. Uh, I got him on my fantasy team. Sort of a a cheap second baseman slash outfielder kind of situation. There's Brian Johnson to two seventy five. Is that a parallel? No. That goes to Anthony and the Red Sox. Oh, that Pirates Cincinnati game got canceled, right? I was looking forward to Sonny Gray Just making the start. Maybe he'll start tomorrow. He's Sonny Gray is with the Reds now, and he is reunited with his Vanderbilt pitching coach, who's the pitching coach for the Cincinnati Reds now. And I think he had a great spring too, so that could be a sneaky uh, a sneaky player to to try to uh, snag in fantasy. I think so. Did it sell out? Prism 17? Yeah, I don't think anything else is sold out, so probably. And Trey Turner back there. All right. That was box one. Here is box two. So we're jumping ahead to 2018 now. So we're looking for five autographs in this one. All right, good luck, everybody. Let's go through some more scores. The Rays beat the uh, beat the Astros 3-1. Astros only managing one run in the top of the first, and that was it. That was it for them. Glass now with the win. Former Pirates guy, Colin McHugh with the loss. Alvarado with the save, second of the season. Marlins beat the Rockies 7-3. Brave scored two runs in the top of the ninth to cut the cut the lead to two runs. The Phillies hung on to win eight to six. Bryce Harper his first home run, a monster, 450, 60 feet or something like that. It was crazy. Dansby Swanson with a dinger, Culberson, Charlie Culberson with a dinger, Michael Franco, J.T. Real Muto, home runs for them, and of course Harper. Blue Jays shut out the Tigers 3-0. Annabelle Sanchez with the win. Royals beat the White Sox 8-6. Indians beat the Twins 2-1, taking the lead in the top of the ninth. Orioles beat the Yankees 5-3. I had the Orioles plus 380 or something like that. So I had some financial interest there. Mets beat the Nationals 11-8. And the Dodgers uh, scoring 7 in the bottom of the 8th. They beat the Diamondbacks 18 to 5. Nice, Chris Bryant. Rookie debut medallion card for the Cubbies. That goes to Scott McNulty. And the late game was the uh, game in Seattle. Mariners hang on by the skin of their teeth. And beat the Red Sox 6-5. to five. I had financial interest in the Mariners as well. I sweated that one a little bit. All in all, I think a pretty good baseball day for me. There's Dominic Smith. Uh, I had, I was on the Nationals. They lost. And I was on on the Orioles plus three forty. I had the Blue Jays minus one twenty five. I had the Braves plus one thirty. That didn't work. But then I had Oakland and I had Seattle. There's Dominic Smith for the Mets. Richard Johansson with that one. 
generally speaking, throughout the season, you'll see me take underdogs more often. Baseball is unique in that you can get away with, you don't have to have a winning record percentage wise in terms of betting wins and losses. You can just bet underdogs a lot. You don't have to be right all the time. What a world. Yeah, the NL Central is stacked, Eric Bailey. That's going to be a tough division. I think we've 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 agreed that they're probably all going to be beating up on each other. I think like maybe 88 wins could win that division. There's Chris Stratton. Something like that. Chris Stratton for the Giants. Another giant for Riley. Card collector. Oh, I, I didn't even notice that when I was going through the box scores. Tigers only got two hits, and they were both by Nick Castellanos. Yeah, it's going to be a long season for the Tigers. Although I have Shane Green, the Tigers' closer, on my fantasy team. I would like him to get at least like 20 saves, 15 to 20 saves this season. Or if he gets traded, he gets traded and stays as a closer to like a contender. And there's Jacob Barnes for the Brew Crew. That's last spot mojo, Cameron Goodman with the Brewers. Yelich off to a hot star. When's the last time someone had back-to-back -back MVPs? Kel Franco had a home run today. All right, Rex is mentioning, which is kind of funny because NL Central was pretty bad for a long time. There's Anthony Stantner for the O's. Ryan Shipley with the Orioles. Got high hopes for Walker Bueller. We'll save one of those Otanis too for the Angels. And there's Jackson Stevens rookie auto. Was it Barry Bonds? Did he win did he go back to back? Four thirty five out of four ninety nine for the red legs. Brad with the Reds. Will Comstock with the Angels. Sorry. All right, now let's get into some 2016 Panini Prime Cuts Baseball. It's a pretty underrated product here. Always some nice surprises in here. Actually, go this way here. All right, we got Pee Wee Reese out of 149. What's cool about this set is I think all of these are game used materials. So there are definitely some uh, some prime prime cuts. So old Dodger going to uh, going to Medford who has my Dodgers. Little Dodger Joe Mojo. We've got Adrian Beltre, also Dodgers edition. Ten out of forty nine. Wish Adrian Beltre would have stayed with the Dodgers. 
but he happened to hit like what almost 40 50 home runs in a contract year and then I think the Mariners paid him that didn't work out and then put together a fine career in, in Texas Hall of is Adrian Beltre a Hall of Famer it's got 3,000 hits for the Blue Jays, Jose Bautista, Josh Donaldson, 31 out of 49. Dual relic for the Bluebirds. Kip Kip Hooray with the Blue Jays. Nice. Beltre, Eric Bailey says yes. Bel Beltre Hall of Fame. We've got Tyler White, 66 out of 99. Astros, Brad with the Strohs. First Battle Hall of Fame, says MH. And the last one here is Jersey and Auto. Nice David Wright. Five out of 25 for the Mets. Man, he would have been a Hall of Famer too if his, if his body didn't betray him, Richard Johansson. Five of twenty-five, and that's for Richard and the Mets once again. All right. Two thousand eighteen Bowman Chrome, HTA. Right, Don Donny Baseball. Don Mattingly had had back issues too. We got Trevor Oaks. That was a little difficult there. Trevor Oaks, Royals, Richard Johansson with the Kansas City Royals. We got Kyle Cody. Speaking of the Rangers, there's Kyle Cody. Texas Rangers, Chris Parent with the Rangers. Out of four ninety nine on that one, and ah, oh, I saw an Angels hat. I saw a P for pitcher. I thought it was going to be someone else, but that time in Berea for Will Comstock and the Angels. It was actually pretty decent, and a parallel. You got some color here too. Out of 250, 219 out of 250. All right. Now these guys. Uh, what do you want to see first? Hat or glove? First to three. First to three. Hat or glove first. We got hat, glove, glove, hat, hat. Hat first, then glove. All right, so there it is. Autograph Pro Style Hat. Series four. This is box 78 out of 100. They should do a wristband. 
I'd like to see that, Eric Bailey. how this box opens. There we go. It opens up like uh, some sort of, it opens up like this, like some sort of alien, like an egg from Alien, an Aliens. I guess we'll save this material for the shipping team. Oh, look, look at this. It, o it opens up like an alien. It's terrifying. All right. Let's see who we got. Huh? Should we... It's kind of, that's a cool hat. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice shade of that color. All right. Who am I? Who am I? Um, I was a third baseman. I'm still alive. I'm 75 years old. Born in Cleveland, Ohio. Had a lifetime 254 average, 242 home runs, 1,039 RBIs. Played for only uh, two teams in my career. Four-time All-Star and a three-time World Series champion in the early 70s. Did they win three in a row? Wow, I didn't realize that. I think the World Series in the early 70s should give it away. Um, third baseman for the, uh, I, I won a championship in 72, 73, and 74. And during these championship years, I captained the, the team and led the club in runs batted in three times. Yep, John's got it. And Riley Card Collector's got it. It is Sal Bando. There it is. The lighting is kind of kind of weird, but this, this is a shade of green that I've not really seen for, for an A's hat. There you go. There's all the JSA stuff right there. It's a proper new era hat. That's the size. And there you go. Sal Bando's autograph on there. Maybe if I get a little white balance on there too. There you go. Better idea of the color right there. Nice. That goes to Brad and the Oakland A's. There you go, Brad. So let me post-it note this really quick. Now the glove. There's the autographed baseball glove. This is box 46 out of 100. Another round of America's favorite game, Who Am I? Hit parade stuff.
That's pretty cool. Where's his autograph? Oh, it's inside. Okay, I see. There you go. All right. Who am I? There's like a little sticker on the inside of the box too with the person's name on it. Who am I? Am I a Hall of Famer? No, I don't think so. Um, okay, who am I? I am 53 years old. I'm a pitcher. Got a lifetime win-loss record of 127 and 87. Lifetime 385 ERA. Lifetime just over 1,300 strikeouts. I'm an LA guy. I was born in Van Nuys, California and went to... Notre Dame High School in Sherman Oaks. So, since this doesn't, this doesn't have a checklist, right? Obviously. So, and this, since this does not have a team color on it, obviously, it'll go to the team that he played for the longest. which is the team we probably all associate him with anyway. So there you go. Um, I don't know what other... Uh, I'm a three-time All-Star in the early 90s. I won an AL Cy Young Award. So AL, that cuts out half the league. And I was an AL uh, wins leader when I uh, won the Cy Young. Nice. That, that's, a, that's a great guess, Richard Johansson. Did you get that all with just the information I gave you? Yeah, it's Jack McDowell. Richard Johansson's got it. Jack McDowell, drafted by the White Sox in 87. And then uh, played, played almost his entire career with the White Sox. Seven years in Chicago, and then one in uh, New York with the Yankees, a couple with the Indians, and a couple with the Angels. But we all know him as a White Sox. That'll go to Colton Carver with the White Sox. Didn't he win a World Series? No, maybe not. So let's see if I could unwrap this right here and show you the auto, which is right there. So nice auto right inside the mitt. Oh, that's right. That's right. Richard Hansen grew up in San Fernando Valley. So he remembers. Jack McDowell coming up the ranks. I don't, yeah, I don't know what he's doing now. Um, coaching career. On January 29, 2014, McDowell announced on his Facebook page that he'd been hired to manage the Dodgers rookie league affiliate, the Ogden Raptors. In 2015, he was named manager of the Arizona League Dodgers. The Dodgers dismissed him after the season. On, in 2017, in 2017 um, Queens University of Charlotte in Charlotte, North Carolina, announced that McDowell will be the head coach of its new baseball team. There you go. The team will compete in its first season in 2018 as a club sport before entering Division II competition the following season. So there you go. And he is he plays guitar as well. He's got some albums. Yeah, he's a right-handed pitcher, but it's a it's a lefty glove. Not sure what that was all about, but but there you go. I guess it's. David from David Adams, I guess. So, well, there you have it. That, those that was pretty cool. It comes with this little uh, hit parade pouch as well. That's where the glove came from. And there you have it, folks. That was a great mixer. Six box baseball is back mixer. Thanks for joining it. We'll see you next time for the next break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.